guys so introducing BINF human hair so they sent me a 360 lace frontal the texture is kinky straight and I believe it's like 22 inches in the package you'll get stocking cap a bunch of flexi rods and this here in my hand is a tie wrap so you can wrap this around your head at night and allow your hair to lay flat and an elastic band so this is the hair straight out the box it is advertised as a pre-plucked hairline but as you guys can tell it will need some plucking but prior to that it's definitely going to need some bleaching to lift the knots so that way they don't look like speckles of pepper on your head so that is what I did I used my B2W bleaching powder along with a 30 developer and I allowed it to sit in the hair for about an hour and 15 minutes and then I rinsed it off with and used the purple shampoo and allowed that to sit on for like two hours and this is what she looks like this is just air dried I'm going to go ahead and front um, and basically straighten the hairline out so I'm just using some of my wax stick on the hairline and in between the part I, I prefer I prefer to do this on the mannequin opposed to doing it on myself or anyone else you just have a better you know pressing you just press better it just presses better for me plus it also will help me not burn myself or anyone else because girl I'm not trying to burn nobody okay so I'm just going to go ahead and use my hot comb I have it at the highest temperature which is 20 degrees this is available at Walmart I believe it was about $20 I've had it for a little bit over a year it just has an on and off switch along with that it has a temperature gauge and it takes about five minutes or a little bit more than that just for it to get to its full heat potential so I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten that out to straighten it out so that way it will lay as flat as possible to the hairline as far as the lace, um, it's not as transparent as I would like it to be, so it's definitely not HD lace. The hair texture is very soft, okay, so it's not as texture kinky as some, but I do prefer it to be a lot more softer than more texture because it just looks a lot more natural for me, and also it just is a lot easier to press out, so... That's the reason why I don't like them so texture, but I love kinky hair. Kinky straight hair is one of my favorite. And I did ask for 24 inches, but I'm thinking this is like 22. I'll definitely leave all the information down below of what they actually sent to me, you guys. Now I'm not going to press the entire hair because I do want it to have some type of volume and I also want to leave the kinkiness in so I'm just more or less basically like laying the hair down so that way you know it's not so thick and it's not so full but for the most part it did bleach easy there's a little bit you know uh, knots that were not lifted and sometimes I don't put a lot on the hairline only because I'm afraid that it will basically thin it out or the hair will fall out the hairline is much thinner than the rest of the unit so that is the reason why I don't add a lot and the cap size is a medium and I think the lace color is like a light brown <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Got, you, this way, you this look way. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the camera. Watch. Yeah, look at the camera. Hi, everybody. This I'm is, Michaela. This is my Kayla. This is my daughter-in-law. This is Wuzzle, my son who passed. This is his girlfriend, and she's family. So we about to hook her hair up. We gonna... So we are gonna get right into this. As you guys know, I introduced this is my daughter-in-law, Michaela, and I love her so much. I'm so glad that my son introduced her into my life. She's been in our lives for quite some years and you know she's family to us so I love when she comes over and we decided to play around and hook up her hair with a lace front wig so this is her very first wig install so I'm just going to be using the got to be glam force hairspray on her edges she has a nice hairline I like the hairlines that have like all that baby hair because girl you don't even have to basically install the wig like that with her hairline you can definitely just put it behind and just brush it over the lace a little bit and it'll look really natural 
Michaela did decide to cut all her hair off. She had a lot of hair and she cut it off. And I love her in short styles, but she was ready to go back with long. So we decided to go for this kinky straight hair. She knows how much I love kinky straight. And so she wanted to give it a try. But you'll definitely see her in some very upcoming videos. And in this part, I'm just going to do the stocking cap method on her head. And I used my Glam Force Got To Be uh, Hairspray as a as a glue barrier you know just to adhere it i love this hairspray it works really well it definitely will hold down your wig cap unfortunately ulta does not sell it anymore and they don't even have it online so i had to purchase my late my latest inventory from amazon now all i did was just spray it and then i'm just going to make sure that it's adhered really well so i do spray it a second time when i'm blow drying it after i'm blow drying it because you do want to make sure that it really sticks but for michaela we had to cut away a lot of the lace or excuse me a lot of the stocking cap in the front because as her hairline is i did not want it to be stuck to her hairline and also she does have more or less like a small head so a medium cap uh, size wig was a little bit too big for her but girl we fi we finessed it we really did we um i just had to cut away extra bit of lace but you guys see that in the tutorial so i'm just going to go ahead and use my scissors and cut away at that stocking cap that we do not need and you want to cut away underneath the hairspray if you spray it down a little bit too much you can always pull it up as you see i'm doing here and just cut away with it and in case you guys are wondering the mark on Michaela's face she got a little bit of hot curl crazy and tried to curl her own wig but didn't work out on her favor so yeah she's got like a little battle wound scar I love her she's amazing she's such a sweet girl and you know what I'm saying like I said we have such a good time together and she's family to me so I love when she comes over we just hang out we kick it you know we reminisce and we just have a really good time so I enjoy her company now this step here is me using the got to be glam force gel I actually put mines in a jar so it can oxidize it will allow the gel to dry quicker and it will also come out a lot thicker versus it being runny out the tube so if you want it to dry quickly I would highly suggest putting it in a jar and just leaving it like that and it'll come out a lot thicker versus it coming out of the tube which is kind of runny and does take a little bit more time to dry so I went ahead with the blow dryer and I'm just going to blow dry this portion down. This will take a little bit extra time so just be aware that you want to take your time with this step and just try to be patient because as I stated it does take a little bit longer but as I also stated if you do put your gel in a jar it will save on some time. So I just used a black plastic knife just to smear this gel on. You can use whatever you have in hand, a popsicle stick, a spatula girl, whatever you can work it with just work it. You know we are very inventive okay. I decided to put an elastic band in her cap so I'm going to go ahead and measure it so that way her wig fits snug and of course we just went ahead and put the wig on and I'm going to go now into cutting and installing this lace front Now, as I stated she has a smaller head size and her hairline is a little bit lower because she has a lot of baby hairs so for this wig install on my Kayla I definitely had to really customize it and cut a bunch of dips and curves into this lace front to where it would not cut off any of her hair or her hair would not basically be glued down or hair sprayed down so as you see right here this is where I'm just cutting away a little pieces and I'm going to also customize on the side where the ear tabs are because they do overlap her own natural ears so I'm going to just part right above her ear to her ears and cut away the excess lace and then you just want to repeat that on the opposite side as you see I'm doing here Once again, I'm just customizing the front of her lace because as I stated, her hairline is a lot lower due to her baby hairs. So I'm just going back and forth and I'll do a lot of it off camera because it was very tedious. So I did edit some of that out.
Now to create her sideburns and her baby hairs, I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to part the amount of baby hairs and sideburn hairs that I want for this install. You don't have to use a lot in all of them, but you do just want to make sure that you have enough. And to install the wig, we're just going to do with the hairspray. Michaela does not want to glue it on and I can't blame her. So we're just going to use the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray. If you tie it up at night, your wig should stay on for about four to five days. You may have to spray down the sideburns a little bit, but you know, it all works out. I do use my blow dryer on cool heat. Along with that, I use a rat tail comb to press in the lace into the hairline. Now, if you don't have a blow dryer, you can just spray in small sections and just hold it down, or you can use a head wrap scarf to also allow it to lay down. I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and just give, give her some baby hairs in the front. I do really wish that this wig was more transparent or more close to her color, but you know, that's what a little bit of makeup is always for. Now I'm going to go ahead on this particular side and I'm going to cut her sideburn hairs and along with that her baby hairs. And you want to make sure that you do repeat that on the opposite side. Or girl, you're going to go outside looking kind of like wonky. And just to form her sideburn hairs, I'm going to be using that Got To Be Glam Force Gel that I do use out the jar. And my favorite styling brush, which is my green toothbrush. No baby hair. I know. Let me like, dang. Let me like, dang. Just because they all there, that's that's supposed to mean you're supposed to use them all. Do not, because you know you just push them back. And right. Next time you style it, they might come all different. So yeah, yeah. you want it to look natural. Yeah, you, you don't want to have a girl. I'd be like, you have to slick down bangs. bangs. Right, bangs in a in a new hairstyle. I'd be like. Now I'm going to be using the Got To Be Volumaniac Gold Defying Styling Mousse. And I'm just going to take that onto the back of my hand and the toothbrush. And I'm just going to sculpt her baby hairs. And as for the front, once again, I'm just going to customize the hairline just a little bit more for her. And I'm just going to repeat that step of sculpting her baby hairs. And I'm also going to kind of like lay her hair down, her hairline down in the front a little bit, as you see right there on the side. So that way it just looks like it's growing out of her scalp. And all I do with that is I just take my rat tail comb and I press down on it with some hairspray and it just looks like it's growing out of the scalp. And now just to hook it up a little bit in the front with my hot comb. This part I was super nervous because I honestly did not want to burn her at all. And just to give her a little volume and lift in the front, I'm just going to blow dry it along with that hairspray it. Oh, shoot. You know me. <laughs> it looks cute on you. You got something to look straight ahead? It's, it's, it's mine. It's time okay. to go ready. I'm just taking a whole bunch. Are we turning to dust? Do you feel what I feel? Have we changed so that much? Can we heal? You're not saying a word. There's a wondering. We lost all ambition for worthy acclaim. There's nothing goes forward. It just stays the same. Uh, think you know the answer, but you're playing a game. Always stay together, stay together. So this is Michaela's finished look. She looks absolutely beautiful. I love this <laughs> on her. This hair is actually really soft and it's very manageable. It was easy to wash. But the thing is, I had to bleach it twice and the knots still, some of the knots are still visible, which I really wasn't happy about. The tweezing of the hairline was super easy. She has a smaller head, so I had to really like work around her hairline and keep cutting little pieces of lace off because her hair 
her head is smaller so she couldn't really use like a small cap but we made it work you hooked me up you hooked up the baby hair yeah. i love the hair and it's light the hair is light it just feels natural i feel like my hair you do too it does i love it i like it on you too it looks really pretty yeah. doesn't tingle it's soft it's like it's fluffy really soft. soft yeah it's not like you know it's not stiff it yeah does, you know, like the yeah. other like the yeah like the kinky hair texture right. like it's kinky but it's a it's soft not too one thick. yeah like i don't like it when it's too much texture that takes so long it's like but this if it was more texture you would be standing here forever trying and to it still has that it. look but you wouldn't even know that it's not even so that thick, thick. Yeah, right it i like that, that look though still it doesn't look thin but this looks cute. So you guys, let us know what you think. We're glad that you stay tuned for the video. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you.